So before you get started running the GC, one of the first things you want to do is check the gas levels. And you're going to come up to the GC and look at the regulator and look at this first gauge. If the pressure there reads less than 500 PSI, you need to let me know so that we can change out the gases. Make sure to check all four gas tanks. There are three on the left and there's one on the right. In addition to checking the gases, you also want to check the needle because it can get bent up or we call it zed. So you see the one on the left is definitely zed, it's messed up. And you want to make sure the needle in there doesn't look like that. So after you're confident the gases are okay, then you want to insert the sample into the auto sampler tray in your assigned slot. Please use only your assigned slots. Not using your assigned slots is considered a breach of lab etiquette. So after your samples are loaded, then you're ready to go, click on this Excalibur. Now this assumes that you have a method ready. Uh, so if your methods are already one on a sequence, click on sequence there. Go ahead when you're getting started and open up the um, example sequence. Use the uh, folder that has your name on it. So click on the example sequence to start with. Now the important things in the sequence are going to be the file name, the path, so the file name here, the path, the instrument method, and the position. For the file name, uh, you can't use any spaces. Don't double click on it. Just click on it and start typing. That's going to be what you're going to name it. Now probably the next thing that you want to set is going to be the path. The path is where that file is going to go. So double click on the path and then navigate to the location of your directory. In this case it's going to be C users GC172 uh, Dropbox and then our class folder and your name. And that makes sure that that file name goes to your folder. One nice thing about the software is if you've done something on the top row and you have a bunch of rows, you can highlight those rows and go to edit, fill down, and hit OK, and there it'll do all that for you. So the instrument method, you can start off with, with the CBD, you can use the method that I gave you. Uh, and when you develop new methods, start from an example method. Um, and that's how the, how the instrument actually runs that. We'll cover that in a, in a subsequent video. But make sure that your method is set and now you're going to want to go ahead and save as. Make sure that your positions are correct. That's where the vial actually is. So here I have a blank in position 1, uh, a um, CBD standard in position 2, and then I'm going to run a shutdown in position 1. Make sure that your last one is a shutdown. So then file save as. You can put in some notes if you want. And then I'm just going to say, oh, I changed the sequence and saved it, whatever. Um, don't save over your own sequences. You'll erase your own work. Make sure you're in the right folder, and then go ahead and hit save. All right, now once you have everything saved, you're ready to run. You just go to Actions, Run Sequence, and just say, okay, don't mess with any of this stuff. So when you click OK, the instrument should start running. And you can see here, it's saying, oh, I'm running your sequence. And it says the auto sampler is ready to run. The GC is getting ready to run. And uh, now most of the time, you won't get to see this. You'll be queuing up behind someone else who's already running. So it'll be running someone else's stuff, and you'll be waiting for your turn. You can go ahead and, and if you're the first one to run, though, you can click on this and make sure that everything looks pretty good. But what's going to be more useful it's going to this acquisition queue. Now, right now I'm the only person running, so you can see it's running my sequence, and it's yellow, it's trying to run sequence row run, it's getting ready to. Normally you see a bunch of sequences in here. Yours should be queued up and uh, ready to go. When you're all queued up and everything, you can change the view here. You saw how I clicked on that little icon, I clicked from sequence view to um, the run view, and then you can watch your stuff run in real time.